This is the Kobo Libra color, and this is how we are able to change the colors of the screen. Inherently, the Kobo Clara color and the Libra color do not have any ways to balance the color, the vividness, the contrast, the color density, nothing like that. You simply have brightness, natural light, and then some light settings, but none of them refer to the actual display itself. So what you have to do is the following. First thing you do is you have to go to the home screen and then go up here to the search bar. After you have done so, type this in, dev mode on in the search bar. After you have that typed in, press go. Next, go over to the settings menu right here. Click on settings, click on device information, and then go to the second page. Down here, you will have developers options. Now, why this is important is because it doesn't just give you control over the actual colors, but it gives you control over everything and you'll see right here save logs login category and this is the big screen right here invert screen show widget info i'm not going to read every single one of these but you do get some really cool stuff you get cfa mode waveform mode handwriting timeout anti-aliasing which some devices actually have as a toggle and you can see it's buried over here ink throttle percentage show markup paint you also have orientation and look at this enable stylus you can actually turn on off the stylus digitizer, the layer that digitizes the physical into digital when you draw on the screen. You get refresh token, book details, factory reset your e-reader. So there is tons of stuff here when it comes to the actual overall look of everything. But we're going to look at what we can do when it comes to colors. So the colors would be controlled from the CFA mode right here. Now this is defaulted right to default or subsequently you can go to normal G1. And there's just gonna be a bunch of arbitrary layouts here, S4, S7, S9, etc. We'll just show you guys some side-by-sides to show you the preset parameters that each of these kind of look like. As this is more of a tutorial video, we're not gonna to dwell too much on that, but as you can see from the examples prior, that the colors can be drastically different in the overall way they're shown from the contrast, to the vividness, to the color enhancements, etc. Now, as you don't get direct control over these and you're bound by presets, you only have six or seven choices overall, but it is interesting to see that this does delve a little bit deeper into what you can do with it. And it's even funny that they have have their partner Tolino as you can see right here you have some testing you can do with Tolino stuff it's just overall very interesting to see how you have the ability to do so many things so far as disable the stylus which I find very interesting it doesn't have too many practical applications but it is interesting how you're able to turn off the entire digitizer all things considered so it is a very easy thing to do you go to the search menu then you go to settings then you go device information scroll to the second developer options and you have four pages of developer options after the fact. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know if you have any other questions.